Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Fast Electronic and Loud, where we always bring it to you fast, electronic, and of course, loud. I've uh, got some uh, new video, new content out there. Don't know if you saw it yesterday. Apple had their uh, live event in Cupertino. Uh, we actually did a live show from our office using uh, Google Plus. Uh, just kind of, you know, reading the blogs in real time as that event was happening. We were not there. Uh, nonetheless, we reported that, so check that out, you know, but you guys have probably already seen all the new information out on Apple's website, so check that out. Uh, yesterday, also, with that release came the iOS 7, not the release for the public, which will be on the September 18th, but this is the iOS 7 uh, Goldmaster Edition, basically. That is their last build. This will be the same edition that will come out on September 18th. Uh, you actually do not, I repeat, you do not need a developer account for this. And I'll have links in the description below where to download the ISPW file. And I used the MacBook Pro. You want to make sure you update to the latest iTunes, uh, which are, I didn't have any issue, but I went ahead and up to, updated to the iTunes 11.1 .1 beta uh, build 2, I believe, or build 48. And I'll put a link in the description below where I grabbed those downloads. Uh, but this morning here, real quickly, I was uh, went into iTunes, and I'll have a separate video on this there. Uh, basically, just went in and uh, checked for update, but I held down the option key on my Mac, and I was unable to select that file I just downloaded. Now, there'll be another video, and I'll put a link in the description about it. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's take a look here. What you're seeing in front of you is uh, AT&T iPhone 5. Uh, white 32 gigabyte but I've had it since it, uh, they, they came out so and I actually uh, just put uh, the iOS 7 like the uh, GM edition that I'm talking about here uh, so let's uh, take a look at it did install successfully verified the update with the Apple Store and before I even started make sure you do this if you choose to do the iOS 7 update make sure you guys back up to iTunes if you'd like a manual backup on your computer do that the, the best way would be uh, back up to iCloud uh, I selected both back up to iCloud and then uh, as well to iTunes because sometimes when you do these things guys you never know what's going to happen so let's uh, let's get into it here let's take a look at uh, iOS 7 here oh hello so you can see we got the new screen here the new setup here, battery life, that's your signal strength. And we're going to, uh, being that we don't have Touch ID, because this is not a, a iPhone 5S yet, we still are forced to swipe to unlock. So let me take this out of frame here and put in uh, my passcode. Just one second, please. Okay, now that I have that in there, we can see update completed your iphone was updated successfully there are just a few more steps to follow and then you're done continue and once i put my passcode in you can now see i've connected on my wi-fi so let's click continue here let's turn down the uh, rocker switch on the side I just want to make sure we don't get any text or email alerts uh next part here is location service do you want to enable or disable um, i'm actually going to go ahead and allow that so we're going to click enable location services let's go ahead and do that Finish setting up cloud, enter the ID password. So let me go ahead and enter my iTunes password. Just one second here. Okay, I do have that entered now. And as you can see, we are updating the iCloud 7. Find My iPhone and iOS 7. Find My iPhone has new features that make it harder for anyone to use it or sell your iPhone if you ever lose it. Your password will be, re will be required before anyone can turn off Find My iPhone, sign out of iCloud, or erase and reactivate your iPhone. Continue? Sure. Welcome to iPhone. Get started. Let's see here. There we go, guys. Spotlight has moved. Searching iPhone is easier than ever with iOS 7. Swipe down from any home screen to access Spotlight. Okay, we'll dismiss that. So you can see here, there is Spotlight. When we scroll down here, that's swipe from the top. You can see we've got our events, calendars, all. Instagram notifications, any missed notifications there. We got, you can see phone, mail, Safari, music. And I did have apps, guys, on here. Uh, before I did this, so let's see uh, the integrity of those. It kept my folders. It just looks like it added a page here for apps. Not a big deal. Uh, kept everything over there. You can see the new f uh, features here, new icons. 
Uh, let's take a look here and just make sure you can click under settings here. You can see how things start to open up. Now I'm just going to swipe this out of frame for just a second. And I want to show you guys here. And you can see here real quickly, I'll put that back down there for you guys. You can see our AT&T, uh, it's a 32 gig, but we are on 7.0, iOS 7.0, if we couldn't tell that already. And if you see here how we can swipe over to get back from settings, it's something new, the way they swipe. See how we were in the about. Normally you'd hit back, well we can just swipe like this way and get back to where we need to go. And you've got your, I mean most of your settings are the same, you got cellular has been added here. Enable your LTE, you got your notification center, and just the way you sort that, how you want your uh, notifications to appear. Again, swiping back. If we come under sounds here, we can go under uh, text tone, and you can see here some of the new sounds that they have on the text tone. If you want to hear a couple of them, let me pop that volume back on here. Let's listen to a couple of these uh, text tones. There was Aurora. Let me turn the volume up here just a little bit guys bamboo cord quite a few different little uh, tones here and ringtones you've got some new ones by the seaside dun -dun, dun -dun. <laughs> Chime. So yeah, just check that out. We'll come back out of sounds here. Quite some new features there, you know, what you can do. You guys have probably seen a, quite a few videos on iOS 7 full walkthroughs. This isn't more or less a full walkthrough, just kind of an intro, getting past that first couple of screens, and then just actually taking a look at the unit itself. Uh, mail, you can see how that opened up was pretty fluid. When you hit the home button, how everything opens up big and closes. We've got YouTube here open on Safari. Let's take a look at our bookmarks. You can see here, this is some of my back from uh, college last year over at University of Illinois there. And here's your tabs. That was something new they have, guys, where you could look at the views here of your tabs and then also see your uh, iCloud tabs that are open on your other devices like my iPad 4, Mac Mini, or the MacBook. So you can hit done or you can click private there, whichever you desire. So. I'll just come back here to the home screen if you guys want to check out what iTunes looks like. You can come into some of your playlists here. Kind of notice they're a little different. Come under purchase music. You know, maybe put on a good good track if you like. Uh, this is a good song here. Uh, here is Love by City of Lions. Uh, inspired by that song by uh, Brody Smith 21 on uh, YouTube. He does amazing things with a frisbee. You're awesome, Brody Smith 21. <laughs> so I'm subscribed to you as well. So yeah, I'm sure some of these apps are maybe some issues as they're uh, updating the App Store uh, to make way for iOS 7, which the full release of the public uh, is going to be on September 18th. And don't forget, you can, uh, starting on the 13th, pre-order if you're interested in the iPhone 5C. Uh, and then beginning next Friday, September 20th, the 5S will be available in stores and online to buy. So we'll be looking forward to that. And make sure you subscribe to us over here at Fast Electronic and Loud. So we are going to have a couple of those iPhones and we'll show you some new features and do full walkthroughs, unboxings, reviews, uh, the whole bit. That's what we do. So just wanted to show you guys again just a real quick little preview here of the iOS 7. Like I said, this is the GM, iOS 7 GM. It's available. Uh, you will not, like I repeat, you will not need a developer account to have this. Uh, just uh, upgrade to the latest version of iTunes. I recommend grabbing the beta. And I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, a real helpful link for me uh, is using, uh, I'm not, not sure if you guys know who Ty Moss is. He is on YouTube, and I'll put him out there. Uh, I'm actually using Ty's iPhoneHelp.com. That's his website, and I'll put a link for that as well. Um, he actually has the links for the uh, iTunes as well as the iOS 7, uh, which are, he's got the links, but they are provided on big public, uh, you know, file share sites. So I'll put the link there for Ty's iPhone help. Check him out. He's got a great channel. Um, so that's it. iOS 7, GM, full walk, first uh, little, not full walkthrough, but first little look at that on an iPhone 5, 32 gig. 
And as always, this is brought to you by Fast Electronic and Loud, where we bring it to you fast, electronic, and of course, loud. Thanks for watching. Click subscribe and receive the latest updates from us. Have a great day. Thanks.